A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, some Jews from Antioch and Iconium arrived and won over the crowds. They stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, supposing that he was dead. But when the disciples gathered around him, he got up and entered the city. On the following day, he left with Barnabas for Derbe. After they had proclaimed the good news to that city and made a considerable number of disciples, they returned to Lystra and to Iconium and to Antioch. They strengthened the spirits of the disciples and exhorted them to persevere in the faith, saying, It is necessary for us to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. They appointed presbyters for them in each church, and with prayer and fasting, commended them to the Lord in whom they had put their faith. Then they traveled through Pisidia and reached Pamphylia. After proclaiming the word at Perga, they went down to Atalia. From there, they sailed to Antioch, where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work they had now accomplished. And when they arrived, they called the church together and reported what God had done with them and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. Then they spent no little time with the disciples. Responsorial Psalm Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Your friends, make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. May my mouth speak the praise of the Lord. And may all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Your friends, make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives give I to you. Don't let your heart be troubled, neither let it be fearful. You heard how I told you I go away and I come to you. If you loved me, you would have rejoiced because I said, I am going to my Father, for the Father is greater than I. Now I have told you before it happens, so that when it happens you may believe. I will no more speak much with you, for the prince of the world comes, and he has nothing in me. But that the world may know that I love the Father, and as the Father commanded me, even so I do. When somebody close to our hearts leave us for different reasons, are we prepared to accept his or her departure. In today's Gospel, Jesus was preparing his apostles for his departure to the Father. He knew that it will not be a good news for his apostles because by now, 
the apostles might thought that after his resurrection, he would remain with them always. Jesus said to his disciples, Peace I live with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, do I give it to you. His goodbye to them would include his gift of peace. After his resurrection, when he appeared to his apostles, he usually said, Peace be with you. This is not the usual peace that we hear, the peace that the world understands it. But his greetings signifies the perfect happiness and the liberation that he was expected to bring. It means that it is not simply the absence of violence, but it is something much deeper. It is the peace that continues to exist even in the midst of confusions and chaos and even turmoil. It is the peace that brings inner sense of security. It brings a strong conviction that God is not only with them, but He is also in them, that it makes them believe that not even the threat of death can take that away from them. Indeed, this was manifested not only in the life of the apostles, but also in the life of the disciples who risked their lives in bringing Jesus to the four corners of the world. In today's Gospel, Jesus is conveying us the same message of peace. In life, there is so much confusions, different situations, problems, and all other situations that can take away our peace of mind, heart, and soul. We find ourselves waking up in the morning with a deep sigh because of anxiety but Jesus is offering us peace that brings inner peace despite of the many situations of anxiety. Let us put our trust in Him. Saint Teresa of Avila's words are indeed true. If you have God, you have everything. Prayer from Xavier.edu Lord, please put your peace in my heart. I am worried and anxious. My mind races and obsesses. I can't help thinking about my problems. And the more I think about them, the more depressed I become. I feel like I'm sinking down in quicksand and can't get out of it. Calm me, Lord. Slow me down. Put your peace in my heart. No matter what problem I have, Lord, you are bigger. You are more powerful than it is. So I bring my problem to you. I know what I want. I know my will. I do not know yours. I do not know how you will use this problem for my salvation. I do not know what good you will work out from this evil. But I trust you. I trust your goodness and in your wisdom. So I place myself in your hands. Please fill my heart with peace. Amen. Amen.